Hello. If you're able to, please close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Relax your shoulders. Unclench your jaw. Take another deep breath in. And another breath out. You can open your eyes now. My name is David and welcome to Mindful Moments. How are you today? I hope you're well. I am very well. It's February. Happy February. The 12 weeks of January are finally over. (laughs) No, I'm kidding. I did a whole episode of wishing your time away and not wanting to wish my time away. And I didn't wish January away, to be honest. I took January very slowly. And that, I think, is going to be a part of my life going forward because it made a lot of sense and felt really good to take January slowly. Even saying that, just because it's February doesn't necessarily mean I need to put my foot down on the gas and suddenly go 10 times faster than I did in January. I just feel like I'm going to let things continue to progress as they have been, work as hard as I feel like I can, but not push myself to do too much. Just, yeah, continue easing into the year. But yes, happy February. February is a lovely month. And this year is a leap year, 29th of February. I wonder if I have any leap babies listening to this. I had a friend in primary school whose birthday was on February the 29th, or he was born on February the 29th. And if that were me, I think I would choose to celebrate my birthday on February the 28th, just because I feel like I'd continue to want my birthday to be in February. That would make sense to me. But I do wonder, I wonder whether every leap baby does it differently or whether everyone chooses to go for the same date. Logically, I feel like it would be March the 1st but I would choose to go for February the 28th. Anyway, happy February. (laughs) Today, today I would like to talk about productivity and achievement and tying our self-worth to the things that we achieve. And this this podcast episode, this episode is sparked by a conversation I had with a friend this week, actually. I said to my friend, well, my friend checked up on me and they said, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing great, thank you. I feel much better. I've had a really productive day today. I feel like I'm back to myself. And my friend said, David, please remember that you are yourself even when you're not productive and you're not achieving anything. Firstly, that's a really wonderful friend I had there. I'm well aware of it. But secondly, it's something that I very much needed reminding of. I am a person who, if I don't stay on top of myself and if I don't check myself, I find it all too easy to tie my self-worth to my achievements. The way I feel about myself, the positive feelings I have about myself tend to be directly connected to how much I think I'm achieving at that time, how productive I feel like I'm being at that time. I'm, I can think of many places that probably comes from. I think I've always just wanted the people around me and my loved ones to be proud of me. I love the feeling I get when the people I care about are proud of me. I love that feeling. I love how it feels to be praised by the people whose opinions I respect. I love it when my friends look at me or talk to me like I've done something really good or acknowledge the good things that I'm doing. And sometimes it can be hard for me to feel like I hold value in people's lives if I'm not doing something exceptional all the time. And so, yeah, before in my life when I was younger, that used to lead me to sometimes exaggerate my achievements to myself and to others, to push myself too hard to achieve certain things or to be productive. I used to, obviously, if I wasn't achieving anything or wasn't doing anything at a time or was going through a low period or a period where I wasn't doing very much, which is normal in life. We don't constantly achieve things. Sometimes we're just ticking along. Things are just going. And I used to really struggle in times like that. I used to struggle to sit still, to take rests, to take breaks because I felt like if I'm not achieving anything, what am I worth? What's the point of me being here? What's the point of me doing anything? I didn't think it in terms that black and white. That's just when I explain it, I explain it like that. But at the time when I look back at my actions, I realize 
that's how I was feeling. That's how I was thinking. And that's how I was acting. So how do we get around that? How do I get around that? As I said, if I don't stay on top of myself, that's a mindset I really find myself slipping back into. I'm really grateful that my friend checked me and said that to me because I hadn't even realized I'd started thinking like that again. Even as much as I was extolling the virtue of taking January slowly and not doing very much, in my own head, I've realized that was starting to creep back up, that feeling of you're not doing enough, you're not being productive enough, you're not proving your worth enough, you need to step it up so that people start feeling like you're worth something again. It's tough as well when you confront those thoughts because those aren't, those aren't really nice thoughts to have to deal with. And I don't, I, don't, I don't like that, I'll be honest. I really don't like that. I don't like that I, in essence, turn on myself if I don't feel like I'm producing anything. I don't like that feeling. But knowing that it exists is the only way that I can deal with it. And I do, I do realize that it exists and I know that I'm able to deal with it. One of the great ironies of attaching achievement to self-worth is that when you chase achievements, you're chasing happiness. You're chasing the things that you think will make you happy. You think when I achieve this, I'm going to be happy in this way. And that's sound logic. But when your self-worth is directly attached to your sense of achievement, when you chase achievement, you're no longer chasing happiness. You're chasing relief. All I'm chasing when I chase achievements and when I don't feel good about myself, or rather, if I don't feel good at myself, feel good about myself. If I don't feel good about myself and I chase an achievement to try and feel better about myself, all that achievement will do is make me feel better temporarily. I'll have a little period of time, a small window where I feel good, I feel happy at that achievement. And then slowly the doubts and the upset will start to creep back in and I'll start to think, what's the next thing? How can I be more productive? How can I achieve more to feel good again? And ultimately that means that every time or it comes to mean that every time I achieve something, all I feel is, okay, good. I didn't slip into obscurity. I didn't stop mattering entirely because I achieved something just in time to continue to matter. What's the next thing I can achieve? Because I need to still matter. So what's the next thing I can achieve? And I realized this myself. I realized I stopped feeling happy when I achieved things because all I was feeling was relief. It was like, okay, good. I've achieved something. I'm still worth something. I've achieved something now. So in essence, only thinking I'm worth something because I'm achieving things was robbing me of happiness. And I like happiness. I love to be happy. I love to be content and I love to be happy. So ultimately, I've tried to change my mindset and look at things slightly differently. I've started to try to look at my productive days as useful rather than essential. Anything productive that I do goes towards things that I want to achieve and success that I want to build. And don't get me wrong, I am not at all saying that I don't want to be productive and I don't want to achieve things. Of course I do. I feel like we all do. Those things mean different things to different people. And by my own standards in my own life and what success looks like to me and what achievement looks like to me and what productivity looks like to me, I wake up every day wanting to be productive and wanting to achieve things. And that in itself it's not an issue whatsoever. It's absolutely fine for me to want to achieve highly. It's absolutely fine for me to want to be productive. In fact, I think it's a good thing for me to want to push myself to the best of my ability. I recognize that I've been given certain opportunities. I recognize that I'm in a position where I can do things that I love and I can do things that I care about and I can push myself to be better at those things. And I can put myself in a position where I can make a positive impact around me by doing the things that I do. So of course, I'm gonna to want to do my best in those arenas. It's just about knowing that I matter whether or not I manage to accomplish those things. And that, that final part is what I was missing. Knowing that it's okay, you're still, you're still of value whether you're achieving right now or not. You're still meaningful. You mean a lot to the people around you. You mean a lot to this world, even if you're not achieving things right now. On top of that, as I said, the barometer for achievement and success and productivity is different to everyone and looks different to everyone. Even me, what I think is an achievement and what I think is me being productive might not be the same by somebody else's barometer. Somebody else could look at me and think I'm being extremely productive and I'm kicking myself because I don't think I'm being productive enough. That, the fact that it's so subjective and can be so different to everyone 
kind of underlines how arbitrary it can be. It's important because I choose to make it important, and that's good. The second it becomes detrimental, I put too much importance on it. And in fact, it's counterproductive, it's counterintuitive. It's not doing what it was designed to do. The whole point of me being productive and me achieving things is to create a better life for myself and the people around me. If I'm unable to see myself as valuable because I'm not achieving things, because I'm not being productive enough, ultimately, achievement and productivity aren't fulfilling the purpose they're supposed to in my life. They're not doing the things that I need them to do in my life, or they're not the things that I want them to be in my life. So being aware of that, knowing that I'm valuable, whether I'm achieving things or not, whether I'm being productive or not, is key. It's actually more important than the productivity and the success of the achievement because without that sense of worth, again, achievements will feel hollow. Productivity feels hollow because all it brings is temporary relief and all things are temporary. Relief goes and I'll go back to that feeling of not feeling valuable again. So all that said, where do you go from there when you recognize those things? As I said, happy February. It's February now. I took January slowly and was less productive than I like to think I usually am. My goal in February is to stay on top of myself in terms of knowing and understanding the difference between productivity and achievement that's useful and productivity and achievement for the sake of feeling good about myself. Because in terms of feeling good about myself, that shouldn't be that shouldn't be the barometer to me. If I'm still, if I still have a positive impact on the people around me, if my friends and family still love me, then I'm doing things all right. I'm doing okay. If I don't manage to achieve everything that I've set myself out to achieve, if I don't manage to be as productive as I told myself I'm going to be, that doesn't mean that I have less value. That's also an insult to my future self now I think about it. If I tell myself I'm not valuable enough because I didn't achieve this at this point and I haven't been as pr this productive up till this point, it's almost as if I only had until now to do those things. And if I do them after now, it doesn't matter. And that's obviously not true. At any point, you can turn around and achieve a certain thing or at any point you can decide to be more productive. And you, at any point we can change and be better or do better for ourselves than we have done before. So to say to myself that I'm not worth anything because I haven't done something yet is very insulting to my future self, who I believe is still capable of achieving those things and completing those things and completing those goals and objectives. So in fact, I need to respect myself more, my past self for the fact that they did their best with what was going on at that time, my present self for the fact that I am valuable in this moment here, no matter what I'm doing, achieving, no matter how productive I am, I am valuable simply because I exist and my future self because I believe in him to be able to do all the things he says he wants to do. I believe in him to hit those goals and those objectives and to achieve. And even if he doesn't, he's still valuable. And my future future self can also achieve those things. <laughs> As you can tell, having this thought process, thinking these things through, has made me feel really, has made me feel really good. I feel really good today. I feel there's a weight off my shoulders because I didn't realize how much this was dragging me down and how much I was carrying the burden of this. Being told by my friend, you are valuable and you are yourself, whether you're productive or achieving things right now or not, made the world of difference to me. And so that's a message I really want to extend. Whether right now you are being productive or achieving things or not, you are valuable and you are yourself. And that is more than enough. I believe in you entirely to achieve all the things that you want to achieve and to be productive in the future. Absolutely, I do. But right now, if you're not doing that to the extent to, wish, to which you wish you were, it's absolutely okay. Right now, if you're not managing to do the things that you want to do and achieve the things you want to do and be as productive as you'd like to be, that's okay. You're absolutely still valuable. So am I. We all are. That's really all I have for today. Short and sweet. I need to go back to, yeah, I really am happy that I'm, 
or rather my main objective for this month for February is to stay on top of myself and stay on top of my positive mindsets. Make sure that when I'm trying to be productive, it's for the right reasons. When I'm trying to achieve things, it's for the right reasons. It's because of what it will add to my life. It's because it's useful, but it's not because I need it to add worth to myself. I'm plenty worthy already. And so are you. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for listening. Whatever you're doing this week, I hope you have a wonderful one.